creators, welcome back to the studio. I'm Aramis, the artist. Y'all, why am I always excited? Oh my goodness, so this, I feel like this was the first time in, the, in a very long time I was able to spend so much time painting, so I'm super excited to share that with you all. We are so close to finishing Aquarius. If you're new here, let me get you caught up. Your girl been working on a Zodiac series for the past three years, actually going into... <laughs> I've been saying three years for three years. It's actually probably going into the fourth year now uh, where I'm painting all 12 of the astrological signs. I'm just about done with 10 of them. Right now I'm working on the last two, which is Aquarius and Pisces, which is so perfect considering it is Aquarius season. Your girl is a Gemini over here, but so many of my dearest, closest, best friends are Aquarians. So I'm super excited to share this vlog with you all. We also went on another field trip. I love taking y'all out here in these Seattle streets. So much fun stuff happened so you know what you need to do grab you a cup of tea and let's hop into the studio vlog uh, my mom is uh cleaning up cleaning out her house and she's been finding some old pictures she found some super cute pictures of me back in the day <laughs> little baby ayo little baby ayo haven't aged a bit <laughs> are headed to um, Vermilion Gallery in Capitol Hill. My dear friend and um, incredible artist, uh, Kamisha Turner. I'm gonna wait for this pedestrian to go, but she is hosting a show at Vermilion Gallery. It's called Debt to the Queen. So uh, it is all about giving honor and love to black women and uh, black mothers. So she invited me to be a part of this show. So I am super excited about that. Hello. Hey, how's it going? able to get through. Oh, really? Yeah. So I would maybe just turn around. Flip around. Yeah. I see. Okay, so thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, appreciate it. Okay, artist pro tip. She letting us know it's tight. Can we do it? We gonna learn today. That's that shot out. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so yeah, we heading up to Vermilion uh, to drop off this painting. So I'm super excited that Kamisha invited me to be a part of this show. It is gonna be up at Vermilion. Um, I'm gonna put the days up here on the screen. So if you local, you can slide through. I cannot remember uh, the dates offhand, but yeah, I just have one piece in the show. And what is weird is that I don't really have that many paintings. Like, which is a, a good problem to have, right? That means that I've been uh, selling quite a few originals, which is so amazing. Um, but I also have quite a few pieces up at another space. And I'm just, I'm just waiting to get those paintings out of that show. They've been up for so long and the place has been closed. So it's actually been boiling my blood a little bit to know that just my paintings have been sitting somewhere in a dark room where nobody's able to experience them, especially when um, people have been asking me about them. And actually one is sold already. It's just been in that space. Um, my collector has been so patient. Uh, Jeff, actually, if you're watching this, oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much for just <laughs> dealing with your girl and for, for being patient during this process. Two pieces actually in there. So one one for Jeff, another one for Nicole. So yours is, yours is coming soon as well. All right, y'all, we gonna head on up to Capitol Hill. Exactly. Exactly. 
Well, this this looks fantastic. This looks great. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm just gonna run off. Uh, I called Kamisha. I told her that I dropped them off, and so okay. she knows that they're here. This is a great. And I think this was just such a genius idea to have the yeah. wall set up here. The art is really the only thing that's got me saying. <laughs> me just and you both. The art is, is difficult. I do it for the art. You got to. You got to. Okay, take care. Hey, Jaffe is a boss. Hold on. So he painted this backwards. Are you serious? Bruh is the GOAT. Period, point blank. Wow. We are back in the studio. Um, so since I was in Capitol Hill, I ran over to, um, I ran over to the pop-up, so the pop-up is a little, it's kind of in and out, y'all, <laughs> in and out. It's been a process for us all to maintain consistent hours at the shop, and so now just about everybody uh, has their stuff online, so that's good for folks who aren't local, you all can check it out uh, online, but Jaffe, if you all missed the uh, Black Lives Matter mural that I was a part of contributing to, I painted the letter V, he was one of the artists who helped us lay out the letters and make sure that every letter was like perfectly symmetrical and in alignment he is a phenomenal sign maker. He is sign savant on Instagram. He hand painted our name, Vivid Matter Collective, on the glass back. Like in order for, of course, like the paint to be um, protected, you have to paint it backwards so that like the glass is on front. <laughs> It's kind of weird, but y'all get it. He did such an incredible job. Wow, it was so cool. Seeing Diana of Vermilion. So she is the owner and founder. She actually sent me some more information about that work that I was showing you all. So the artist who made that piece was up at Vermilion. He was working on that boat that I just showed you all. So this is what he says about the document. This is a document that our people signed to become citizens. I did this design over a bunch of these documents to show our people's resilience. But you can see there it says, Reed's document declaring individuals forced abandonment of tribal culture and customs. Yeah, so that's hella whack. But either way, I went over all of those documents with the design to show our resilience and our beauty and our power that we will always have before America and after that shit too. Okay, I'm gonna link his information below because he his work is truly amazing. We are gonna do some painting today. I'm actually wearing red today, y'all. I rarely wear red, but uh, I'm actually gonna be starting my period tomorrow. So I said, you know what, lean in. Just embrace it. Let's hop into painting. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough, and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna meet. Well, this is Aquarius and she is coming together. So y'all know I like to work on multiple multiple paintings at a time. So we got Aquarius over here, we got Pisces, uh, coming together on the other wall. And so right now I'm just gonna be working in her skirt a little bit. Last night I, you know, painted her hands and her fingers. So if you all follow me on Instagram, you probably saw a little sneak peek of that when I was painting her nails and her knuckles. Um, so right now, I was really trying to figure out what I wanna do with her skirt. So what's going on down here is I am obsessed with this background. I love these natural elements that truly form without my without my intervention. You know, I feel like it's, those are the moments when I feel like I'm the vessel and the universe is just creating something through me. And so I love that, I want that, I want that to shine through. I don't wanna cover that up. So I have a nice little thin wash going on over here for her skirt. But I don't want her to seem like, like she has this full, colorful, really sad, saturated body and then down here she seems almost 
ghostly like as if she isn't rooted down into the ground so i am gonna work in a little bit more color here on her um on her skirt and so i still want her skirt to look white and this base is going to be pretty much the base of the waterfall we're gonna have a lot of water splashes foam mist like the bottom of a waterfall so what i'm going to do to work in more this color of her skirt is i'm going to add in some naples yellow hue i love this color i feel like it's the perfect color to use if you are trying to add in shadows for a fabric or for any subject matter that is white without just using gray, you know? So now I'm just going in and working in some of this Naples yellow hue to add some more dimensions and shadows to this white skirt. I'll probably come back in with a darker, maybe yellow okra or um, burnt umber to give this even more depth and to create even some deeper shadows. But for now, I just wanna eliminate a little bit of this translucency that's going on with her skirt. I really wanna give her more, give her more matter. Let her fully, let her fully manifest into this realm. And then here I'm just leaving some of these peaks here and go, I'm gonna go back in with some white so that I can have some highlights going from the fabric of her skirt. closest friends are Aquarians. <laughs> it's insane. I actually recently spoke to my girl Katie from back home. <laughs> like you boo if you watching the channel. <laughs> She's like girl now where is Aquarius? Like you need to stop playing. <laughs> like I know I know I am working on her. She is a work in progress. She is coming together. So really the inspiration behind this piece was during my travels to Ghana, I absolutely, man, it was just so incredible going to the motherland and just having that experience. What I was so fascinated by was just the incredible, elegant balance of all the women that I saw carrying things on their head. I say, yes, queen. I mean, and their posture was just so strong, erect, powerful. And I actually, we, we visited a school out there in Ghana and I saw this beautiful mural that was outside the school. And it was a woman with uh, one of the, like a water, a water, uh, a water basket on her head. And I was like, oh, since Aquarius is the water bearer, this would actually be amazing to have Aquarius with a vessel of water, not just in her hand or holding it by her side, how you typically see, but having it on her head. So if you've been following along with the Zodiac series, Bowl, but I 
still um, I'm taking this off just because I'm gonna put some white over this and I know it's gonna spill over into the purple and what happens when you have white on the background and try to fill it over with a darker color that area remains a little bit lighter so then you gotta put hella coats hella coats in order to make it work so just taping that off it'll still be rough but it'll help prevent getting a whole lot of white on this dark purple and keep this entire strip consistent in a deep violet how I want it to be Good morning, how are you? We're back in the studio this morning, y'all. I got so much painting done. Like, man, I feel like it's been a minute since I've been able to really like dive into creation and like really get to it. So let me show y'all Aquarius and how much progress we've made on her. Yeah, she's become a vibe. She's, I haven't taken this tape off yet because I'm not sure if I want to add a little bit more back there or not. So for now, I'm just going to leave it on. But we was working on her hands. I was adding the waterfall, getting her hair together, really um, adding a lot more to her skirt and giving her more body and having her a lot more rooted in space. What I absolutely love is how the water is just bouncing up in these waves. But also, it's so misty. It's giving me air vibes which is perfect because Aquarius is an air sign even though she is the water bearer. I love how there's just like the mixture of water and air going on with her. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna be coming back to her um, a little bit later today, but while I have some sunlight, I wanted to show you all what I'm working on. So, oh, did I show y'all the, um, so this is my, these are, so the patron perks are gonna be going out uh, later this week. So I got them all stamped and ready to go with my logo on it. So of course, as a small business owner, your girl is always out here trying to figure out how I can save money, but at the same time have stuff um, that still makes a statement where I still got like the brand consistency, still have like my logo going on. Uh, actually my girl, Jessica, uh, Jessica Rahel on Instagram. This is her uh, throwback um, crew neck that she made back in the day called Trust Your, well the brand is called The Underdog and uh, the shirt says Trust Your Struggle. <laughs> The struggle be real out here, y'all, for real. So she actually designed my logo that you all just saw. Uh, AO, it's like linked in these chains, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love it. And so I was like, mm. if we got any small business owners out there, first of all, let me know, drop it in the comments below so we can all support one another. You still trying to figure out how can you present your brand, um, but still not spend too much money on stickers and, and um, like labels, all that stuff. Cause over time, all that stuff starts to add up. So I found a company called um, The Stamp Maker, thestampmaker.com. So what you can do is upload your logo, a PNG file, a transparent file of your logo, and they will turn it into a stamp. Uh, and they have the color stamp pad. So I got the violet color. So you all saw that on the, are you gonna just? Trying, are you trying? You're trying. So I got this purple color and it's from the stamp maker. So I've been stamping those on the patron perks uh, so that we can, so that folks know when it come in the mail, it's coming from your girl AO. She ready, but we also saving money. We also saving the planet, okay? Cause all those stickers and plastic, all that stuff starts to add up when it comes down to our dear mother earth. Look, the sacred queen. So of course we gotta take care of her. If you're new here, you might be wondering what that is. So I'm gonna put a card to one of my older vlogs when I was actually doing more aerials. So um, I love aerial acrobatics. The apparatus that I love is aerial silks. So this is what's hanging in my studio. It has been packed away for quite some time with COVID. My aerial studio actually closed. I haven't really been talking about it because I'm just still like, I think I'm part way in denial, but at the same time, um, it's just real, it's still really, really sad for me. And I can explain that at, at another time, but just know I'm feeling a little bit better these days about my aerial practice. Uh, I brought my silk back out and y'all might see me come back 
recording my training and my practice because at some point I do want to perform aerial and I want to combine uh, my painting with performance art as well. I have no idea how this looks in my mind, but it, it comes together day by day. The more I create, the more that I get up on the silk and practice, uh, it all starts to come together. Today is a business day for me. I'm planning. Uh, it's a Monday. Today is February 1st. Um, and actually my girl Kamari, who you all saw in the last vlog, her her short film is officially live here. I'm gonna put her Instagram up here on the screen and her link down below. Y'all should definitely check her out. Uh, so today is the first, it's a Monday. I'm planning, getting ready for the week, doing some content planning for YouTube. Um, I also have a meeting with Shannon later today and we are getting the newsletter prep that's gonna be going out to the email subscribers. So I always like to send out a monthly newsletter uh, to my supporters, let them know what artwork I'm working on, um, what's in store to come actually. I like to let them know what is in store. So actually I can let y'all know. So you probably saw, if you missed the last vlog, make sure you get all caught up, boo. Okay, we we, we keeping it streamlined. If you ever miss an episode, then you are gonna be behind. Cause I'm trying to look out for you. Go back, get caught up on the vlogs. Uh, you all probably saw in the intro and the outro that I had on a scarf, which I did do a scarf giveaway for the patrons, y'all. <sighs> Let's just say I just love my Patreon community, okay? They cleaned house on the scars. But um, now I can let you all know, now the patrons are all up to date about what is going on. Um, this coming year, I am gonna have scarves available. So if you if if you know me out here in the real streets, then you know I stay with scarves. I absolutely love scarves. I wear scarves even in the summertime, y'all, because you know sis don't really wear bras. Sometimes it's nice just to have like a little light scarf just to kind of <laughs> drape over the nip, you know? I love scarves. This is the satin one. I have some matte crepe, all the other stuff. I'm gonna probably do a whole nother video explaining all that stuff for you all. But yeah, today is the business prep day. Some of the videos that I watch on YouTube, y'all, is all about like productivity, habits, time management. I'm actually gonna put like a list of some of the people that I follow here on the screen. Just that you all, if you all trying to step up your game, get organized, uh, you know, if you all are in the mindset, new year, new you, check them out, y'all, because uh, actually one of them, Lavender, I love her. I'm actually using uh, her planner, Create Today. That is my motto, like, if all else fails, create make something that gives you that confidence boost to keep on going so i'm working with lavender's uh planner i'm actually using michelle's uh, notion templates that she has available on her website mm, i'm gonna drop all those links below if we got some small business owners if we have entrepreneurs if we have artists out here trying to get more organized and really try to streamline and start to focus and level up these are definitely the folks who've been helping me so i'm gonna bust out this work and i'm gonna see y'all in a bit messages from my patrons truly brings me the most joy. Dana talking about my spirit babies. <laughs> Danielle was excited about the pins. Oh my God. You know what? I need to ship everything off today. I feel like I want I want everybody to get their goodies ASAP, you know? Cause like, I'm, look, I'm excited for y'all, <laughs> so. Quite a bit of stuff prepped for everybody. The patron perks are going out um, probably a little later this week to tell you the truth. What I like to do to minimize how many packages I have to ship to my patrons and customers and uh, supporters, what I do, especially since I just did this giveaway and we have the panda pins, all these things. So I like created this spreadsheet and trying to figure out like what everybody needs based on if they're a patron, if they are um, a customer to my online shop. So of course, if I have patrons like where they're already getting their monthly perks, it's like, okay, great. They also got a pin. So let me just 
pack it all together so that they can get everything at once and don't have to separate too much stuff. I, I do have a team that helps me fulfill orders, so some stuff is gonna be a, like through a separate uh, through a separate package, but everything that's in my studio, I try to get it out all together and all at once. Usually every month the patrons get three greeting cards, and so this time I'm actually giving them a fourth one because one of the cards, which is Courage, I oh, absolutely love this painting. Um, this is actually a painting that I don't have for sale. It is in my bedroom. It hangs on our wall. It's one of my favorite pieces that is a part of my personal collection, but I did make it available as greeting cards for my patrons, but unfortunately, the like my logo and everything on the back is upside down and we're growing. We're growing as we build the team. There are different things that you know, it's just out of your control and you just move on. I'm not throwing these away though. These are still beautiful. Um, there's no need to like create more waste. Um, so I'm just giving the patrons an extra bonus during this time. So patrons, if you're seeing this, that's why you got a fourth one in there. Thank y'all so much for your patience as we evolve during these transitions. But yeah, I'm gonna finish up here in the studio and then that'll be it for me today. not die you bet not die let's see let's see let's see let's see okay you might see behind me that i have some of the patron perks going out in the scarf giveaway look the silk the satin all of it is on its way i hope this vlog gave you a little bit more of an insight i saw in my last vlog um when you all were asking about how i manage my time <laughs> so hopefully me showing a little bit about notion and some of the other productivity people that i follow was helpful but if you all are like super curious kind of want me to go deep and like time management and stuff i I absolutely love productivity. I have so many books on that. I love the book Atomic Habits. Like, don't get me started. Let me know it on in comments if you all are, are interested in some more productivity um, stuff and like how to manage your time as an artist and entrepreneur. I appreciate you all's feedback on the last vlog. Thank you all so much. There are all four prints available in the shop, okay? I see there were so many people like, yeah, all of them, all of them. Got you, boo. I hear you, boo. Thank you so much. All four are available in the studio vlog of the Rebirth Prints. I am really looking forward to this year of actually starting, like picking back up my aerial practice. I loved it so much y'all. I loved it so much. I actually have a whole Instagram, a whole separate aerial Instagram page that I have not been posting on obviously because I have not been training. But if you all are interested in like my, my aerial practice and aerial training, um, I will be posting more of that stuff soon. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in. Speaking of managing my time and like picking back up my aerial training in the midst of all the things that I'm trying to do, it can be difficult to time manage. I'm about to tell myself that I don't have to do everything. I don't have to be on every platform for people for people to see me out here I'm here I'm on a lot of different platforms doing a lot of different things so make sure you all follow me everywhere where I am I'm trying to get consistent on TikTok TikTok is a blast obviously I love dancing so I will be on TikTok having some fun over there and the other place where I'm trying to focus my energy is to my Patreon community we have officially hit a hundred patrons over on Patreon <laughs> y'all I my mind is blown. I am so grateful. I really want to commit my energy over there, give you all more perks and benefits, connect more, do more, create dates. Say hey, Tube Team! Hey, Tube Team! Just really pour into my Patreon community because you all pour into me, and I so appreciate that, and the reciprocity will be here, honey. And of course, if you would like to join the Patreon community, I'm going to drop that information below. Definitely join us over there. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video and remember if you liked it like it and i'll see you all next week she getting consistent she's getting consistent <laughs>